So I'm like stressed and hard. I'm doing this cold interest research targeting. I'm like, oh, how do I do this? It's that time of year again. Social Media Marketing World 2020 in San Diego. San Diego. Yep, yeah, San Diego, California. This is my fifth consecutive year attending. It's my first year speaking. I'm super, super excited. Let's get into it. Vintage Paul Raimondo, running late. Dinner with Thinkific. Let's go. I just found him. I found the brother from another mother. Oh, damn. How are you doing? It's Mr. Gavin Bell. What do you think, Gavin? Oh, can't always. <laughs> Gavin introduced me to the Timeship app. And then, didn't even use it himself, now he's jet like. Yeah, no response, you got nothing. Thanks, brother. Okay, pre-conference networking drinks. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, no! This <laughs> is when uh, Paul met River this afternoon. Wait, River is beautiful! Babies love me. It's because you share the same habits of eating, sleeping, and crapping. Yeah. Here's Fantastic. your bag. Thank you. Your your Fantastic. Hey, Ali. Hi. Oh, say hi to the vlog. Hi, vlog. How is best? <laughs> My fifth year attending, first year speaking. First year that I haven't been super, super jet lagged. You had some mishap at one point, right? A couple years ago? Yeah, so, um... <laughs> Ash back. I booked flights next week and realized that I didn't account for a time zone change. And uh, I need to change my flights, if that's possible. <laughs> How much would that be? <laughs> the cost of my mistake is <laughs> is how much? One thousand four hundred and ten dollars. Uh, End of flashback. That's worse. I get here on time and then flashback. I spent twenty hours sleeping. Twenty hours journey to get here. Then I spent twenty hours sleeping. It was a long nap. End of flashback. Hey, thank you so much. High fives. Thanks so much guys, I'll see you soon. Bye. Let's go exploring. I feel like that's the move. Hey. Just want to remind you guys, you have an incredible opportunity before you over the next few days to change lives. I'm about to go on stage to present an advanced cold audience Facebook ad targeting session, step by step. Let's uh, get into it. All right, so now that we've got this completed avatar worksheet, we now need to go do our actual interest research and our refinement. The best way that I can explain how to do this is with one of our newest clients, Body and Soul. A show of hands here, who knows what Burning Man is? Sick. So Body and Soul is basically Burning Man in Ireland, right? Next to a castle, it looks really, looks really sick. The only issue with this cold interest targeting when I sat down to do this for this client was I'm an emo kid. The music that's playing at this festival is trip rock, psychedelic rock, electronic rock, like music, indie rock, music that I don't listen to, have never consumed, have no interest in consuming. And I'm like, well, I don't know this target audience as well. On top of that, I've never been to Europe, so don't understand the culture either. So I'm like stressed and hard. I'm doing this cold interest research targeting. I'm like, oh, how do I do this? So I went back to basics got my avatar form out, spoke to my client, and got some seeds of ideas in which I could use for targeting. And I filled that avatar form out, and then what I did was, I opened up a Google Sheet, and in the Google Sheet, I created three columns. One was interest, the next was audience size, and then the third one was artists. These are the artists that were performing at this festival, and I'll get into that more in a second. You focus on the first two columns, interest and audience size. Researched all of those, and I just noted down every single interest from my avatar sheet into those columns. Every single thing. As silly as it may sound, or as weird as it may sound as an interest, just write it down in there, because you're going to go through it and refine it later on. And as you go through and you write down all your interests, you then want to see if those are interests that you can actually target inside of Facebook. So, Metronomy and Roshan Murphy, they're the two headline artists, and they were the only interests, and the only artists that I could actually target inside of interests on Facebook. So what I did was, I literally just put metronomy into the ad set area of interests, and I noted down the audience size, 423,000. Did the same for Roshan Murphy. I went back to my avatar sheet, and I popped it in. So I popped in the audience size, and then I went and repeated that process for all of the interests that I potentially could have targeted based on my avatar in that sheet. Now, as I was going through this, I know that Roshan Murphy and I know that metronomy are super, super relevant, except when I go down, if you look at the line break, it goes electronic rock, house rock, indie pop, indie rock. 
These are all super, super large audiences that are super, super broad, but not overly relevant, especially in the back of my mind, I'm like, I'm gonna be targeting this in Ireland, which has about 2.8, 2.9 million active users on Facebook. And I'm doing it for a very niche music festival. So I'm gonna get rid of all of those. I put all the effort into the research and I was like, I'm gonna scrap those, not relevant at all. So what do I do next? Well, I hop into the audience insights tool. And I knew that the only two interests that I was able to start with were Metronomy and Roshan uh, Murphy. And these are my, basically my hero interests. Now pop those in. I'll get down here. I popped those in this column here, which is just seed interest area. I clicked on the page likes area, so we can just basically ignore everything for the purposes of this exercise. Go on to page likes, and then you want to pay attention to this thing called affinity. Now, affinity is a measure of how likely someone on Facebook in that seed audience is to respond to your ads compared to everyone else on Facebook. Right? Got it? So what that means is, if you have a higher affinity in some of the suggested interests as you populate this out, that means they're gonna have a higher likelihood of responding positively to the ads that you're running compared to everyone else on Facebook. So, I saw this and I was like, oh, all right, well, Roshi Murphy and Metronomy, like they, they've got really decent high affinity. I'm trying to look at the screen here. 1422X and uh, 1112X. And then I also noticed that Carabo was showing up as the next suggested interest. So people in this audience have a 377 times more likely to respond to uh, the Caribou interest category compared to everyone else on Facebook. So I saw it in the music band section at the top and I also saw it in the, page likes, uh, in the pages down the bottom. So I was like, sick, I wonder what this Caribou thing is. I think it's an artist. So I went to Facebook and I searched for it. And I was like, oh, sick, like Caribou, 494, it's a verified artist, 494,000 people sick, this might be an interest that I can target, like, let's go. So then I went into my ad set area, and I realized that it was an interest I could target, but like, it's 893,000, which does not equal the 494,000 page likes. And I was like, why is this interest larger than the actual page size itself? <laughs> so yeah, you guys know where I'm going with this, don't you? Yeah, so I went on to Google, and I realized that Caribou's a band, but it's also reindeer. <laughs> So if I had run those ads, I would have been like, yeah, sick, like, this is going to be awesome. Like, Caribou's a band. And if I didn't do my research, I didn't double triple check, I would have run ads to people in Ireland that are interested in reindeer. <laughs> so it's really, really important that you double, triple check and think really expansively and exploratorily when you're doing your cold audience research. Fives, just wrapped my speech at Social Media Marketing World 2020. I'm super elated. Had a really good response to the audience. If you're watching this and you're attending, thank you so much for joining me. Hope you got a lot of value out of my session. Apart from that, I'm gonna conclude the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notifications on so you get notified when I drop new videos, which is every so often this year. And uh, apart from that, let's go ahead and cue the explosion. And I'll see you next time. Peace. What do you think? Oh, I can't always. <laughs>